Hey there, fellow adventurers and RPG enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the heart of one of the most anticipated releases of the year Final Fantasy Roman VII Rebirth. Square Enix is not just remaking a classic, they're redefining our journey through this beloved universe. Let's uncover the magic behind Rebirth and what it means for us solo players seeking freedom in its vast, new world. After the resounding success of Final Fantasy Roman VII Remake, Square Enix raises the stakes with Rebirth, introducing a world so vast and teeming with life, it's like stepping into a realm of boundless possibilities. But what really caught my eye? The emphasis on exploration and the newfound freedom that awaits us. Gone are the linear paths of Midgar. In Rebirth, we break free into an expansive world, reminiscent of the original's open exploration, but with a modern twist. The developers, including the legendary Tetsuya Namura and Yoshinori Kides, have crafted a narrative and world that respects the original while embracing the advancements in gaming technology. Rebirth is not just about following the main storyline. About 80% of the game's content is tucked away in side quests and exploration, inviting us to dive deeper into the lore, meet new characters, and unravel mysteries at our own pace. And let's not forget, each side quest enriches our relationships with the party, adding layers to the narrative fabric of our adventure. For the solo player, this means gearing up for a journey that's as personal as it is epic. The game promises about 40 hours of main story content, but for those of us who love to leave no stone unturned, there's up to 100 hours of gameplay waiting to be discovered. And it's not just about where you can go, it's about who you journey with. Rebirth deepens the bond between Cloud and his companions, introducing new dynamics in combat and interactions. Plus, the return of the world map not only expands our playground, but enriches our understanding of the Final Fantasy Roman VII universe. What excites me the most about Final Fantasy Roman VII Rebirth is the seamless blend of nostalgia and innovation. Square Enix has taken a narrative we thought we knew inside out and turned it into a landscape ripe for exploration, filled with dangers, wonders, and stories waiting to be told. So, whether you're a veteran of the original game or a newcomer eager to experience the saga, Final Fantasy Roman VII Rebirth promises an adventure that's both familiar and entirely new. But what do you think? Are you ready to explore the world beyond Midgar? Share your thoughts, expectations, and what you're most excited about in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into Final Fantasy Roman VII Rebirth, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more RPG adventures and updates. Personal Opinion Final Fantasy Roman VII Rebirth represents more than just a continuation of a beloved story. It's a testament to Square Enix's dedication to evolution while honoring its roots. The promise of exploration and the freedom to traverse a world filled with depth, mystery, and beauty speaks to the core of what makes RPGs so captivating. Rebirth offers a unique opportunity to experience a classic tale anew, enriched with modern gameplay, storytelling, and graphics. For solo players like us, it's a dream come true a chance to lose ourselves in a world that's as expansive as it is intimate, filled with challenges to overcome and stories to unfold. With Rebirth, Square Enix isn't just revisiting the past. They're inviting us to rediscover it, to make it our own. And I, for one, can't wait to see where this journey takes us. Until next time, keep your materia handy and your chocobos close.